alcoholic Steve Clark, Alzheimer's Alec McLeish, or Mr. 460 Craig Lefine. Who's the Scotland manager? As The Rock would say, it doesn't matter who the Scotland manager is. We are pish. And that's yes, we are. Much I've got to say about the game. <laughs> Uh, Scotland's hopes of qualifying for the Euro 2020 have ended after a 2-1 defeat at Hamden to Russia. And um, I mean, to me, a surprising result. I actually thought Scotland were going to get the job done tonight and secure our three points. It wasn't to be. We started pretty well. Uh, we took an early goal, which in hindsight was probably the worst thing that could have happened because that goal changed the game. We just, after scoring that goal, we backed off. We didn't seem <laughs> interested in, you know, looking for a second. Uh, believe it or not, as crazy as it sounds, after 10, 15 minutes, it looked like we were content to sit back and try and, you know, hold off Russia for the 1-0 win. And obviously that meant Russia could come on to us. They built in confidence and they ended up creating chances. And unfortunately for us, they created two chances that David Marshall could not save, who otherwise had a great game. But yes, he did. The players, not impressed, and um, I think we've got a lot of work to do, man. What do you think? What are your thoughts, Steve, on the game? Well, I'm surprised I'm still here. I'm, I, I, it was either going to be bleach, noose, or wrist tanned, and sadly it wasn't one of them because that was absolute pish. And see, see the stick eleven people honest, behind that, the that, ball. That, uh, is, is that Steve Clark? Do you, I mean, ah, we, we we didn't. I mean, we have good enough players not to do that. Yep, yep, totally agree. To be honest, I thought that performance tonight maybe warranted a combination of all three. Noose, bleach and knife, but I mean, who knows, we'll, save, we'll save that for Monday when we get humped off uh, Belgium. Oh, yo, it doesn't matter if we could beat the Russia, because we're going to beat Belgium. Oh, aye. I mean, if they can't get past a bunch of fucking Russians that served with Ivan Drago about 35 years ago, I mean, they're, go they're definitely going to get past for Tom and Alder Wild, uh, Munier, you know what I mean? They're, they're going to get past them. Courtois, fucking yeah, know, piece know, of piss. I know, like, I know Russia qualified. I, I know. I mean, I know Russia got to the semis in the World Cup and all that. I mean, good for them. They humped Saudi Arabia 5-0. Love them for that great result. So, oh, made, my yeah, yeah. made my year. You know, I mean, up the Russians and all that shit. But at the end of the day, I'm looking at this Russian team. And I don't think it's anything spectacular. To be honest, I actually think we have better players. <laughs> I, I genuinely do believe that. Maybe I'm delusional. Maybe if I was, you know, maybe if I was Russian and I've I, I watched Russian football more, I would think the opposite. But I mean, the, their I best know, player was at Golovin, and, and he plays centre mid for like lower league league in Monaco, who have went the fucking shit. So does that not kind of sum it up, like Golovin? Like I'm not saying they don't have good players, but I mean, Scotland have a lot of young, promising players coming up. It's it's the same. It's it's Scotland more or less the same. It's a same, It's a more or less the same Russian team that was tipped to not get out of a group that had Saudi Arabia in it at the World Cup. So I mean, we should be beating that. We are a team, you know. Oh come on! Ah, oh, it's it's unbelievable. Like the fucking Dax. No, it didn't. It didn't happen. Ah, oh, ah, um, ah! Oh, I, I can't get over it. I, I, it see it, McBurney, it, it should kill have been, him. It, it, it should have been more than two one. I mean, I, I, let's be honest. I think Russia were a bit unlucky to only win two one. But if it wasn't for Marshall, Marshall like it, it definitely would have been. I mean, he made some very good saves. Um, and I, Mulgrew got a block in, which would have resulted in a goal. And then who was it? Was it late on? O'Donnell cleared the ball off the line when Russia were through, like four on two. So I mean, I think. I don't think 3-4-1 would have flattered Russia, if I'm being honest. As for us, um, we didn't have many chances. The chance, I think we had a chance that fell to... Was it Ryan Christie? I think he came out. It wasn't even, I wouldn't even call it a chance. You know, It was a, it was a shot to outside the box. At least he came McLean. on with a bit of... Was it McLean? At least he came on with a bit McLean. of intent. You know, he forced a save after the keeper. Like, not, not a great shot. I mean, simple save. But, you know, it, it was fucking the first... I think it was the first shot we had on target. In the second half, so and what and, and why does he some... take off, right? Why does he take off Forrest and McGinn, right? And see this whole logic of we couldn't we couldn't take off the striker. I you can because the guy McBurney had no impact on it apart from a negative impact. It was a fucking lamp post up front that couldn't even win any of the head downs. Like Tw twenty million pound lamp post. Uh, is he? Ah, oh, come um, what twenty million? Like. I mean, that could, that could go uh, towards yeah, getting mean, us out of the EU instead of a fucking... I mean... Oh, but yo, I mean, he's, we're, we're, we're only hating on him because he supports Rangers. See that fucking logic? 
Go hang yourself, bunch of wee spastics. Uh, I think it was like 12 minutes to go, uh, he got through, and it was like, I think we did, I'm pretty sure we did a number advantage, it was three against two, and we had, I can't remember, was it, I don't know whether, I don't know who it was, right, but with someone running in at the back post, and he could have cut the ball back to the edge of the box, but he didn't. He decided to just put a shite cross in. Um, so the, the cross came in. Scottish Scottish player didn't win it. Can't remember who it was, but he didn't win it. And then, I don't, do you remember this? But if Aye, he put the pull back, back there was there was a there was a free uh, there was a free Scottish man run in, but he didn't fucking choose him. Uh, he crossed it in. It was a shit cross. The cross ended up coming back to him. He, he took another off. terrible touch, and then he, he fucking he, he attempted a shot, but. He, he lent he lent that far back that he ended up falling. Uh, I think we got a corner out of it, and then I believe that was the referee gave a fucking very lenient free kick from that corner. Uh, trash from from uh, McBurney. Uh, Matt Phillips came on. He he had a decent chance. He was back to his goal just inside the box. He gets it played to him. He, you know, he held it up for about maybe a second, two seconds, which was decent. But then he had like four or five players like running in. Up, and he couldn't lead the ball off to any one of them, and, but he, he held on to it for too long, and he got tackled, lost the ball. I mean, that was pretty much it. We'd, I mean, Andy Robertson tried, but I mean, every cross, Shuffle it was either blocked boss. by the defender, or, you know, it was it was just pish. I um, don't get it. Look at our left side. Andy Robertson and Fraser, uh, and we don't use it. I mean, I mean every cross every he hit in, keeper's hands. The keeper's hands. Uh, the delivery was shocking, and, uh, and the keeper I mean, get, already get gifted us a goal, like so. He couldn't really expect the guy to do much more for us. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I know he felt he felt sorry for us because we're pissed on that, but he can't. You know what I mean? He can't afford to give us that many goals. He'll he'll get sacked. They'll get fucking killed in Russia when he goes home. But uh, I mean, I I think when Steve Clark got the job, people were fifty fifty on him. I would say three games in, three competitive games into his, uh, you know, Scotland managerial career. I'd say more people have turned against them than turned for them. Definitely. I mean, I mean an incon- got lucky an against Cyprus. Win against like... Cyprus. Um, we got beat 3 0 against Belgium. I was going to say 3 0 flattered Belgium, but we were fucking. I mean, we had one counter attack and we didn't take. We should have scored it, but we didn't. But I mean, apart from that, I mean, it was all Belgium. And then tonight was piss poor. So three games in, and he's not doing well on the report card. I mean, he's probably. Fucking got, he's got like a D. If you're I, a, B, I don't get it though. A, B, C, D, E, I F. I mean, he's got a fucking D at the moment, I'll tell you that. But uh, why do you, why more people would have turned against him. But why do you go so, so right? See, when you're playing so well, right? Why does he, why, why is he switch it? Why is he switch it back to just, oh, let's just go behind the ball? Russia were on the back foot. I mean, see, I, I'm not comparing us to the Man City or Liverpool, right? But see when they score one, they don't go, ah, well, you know, we've got Van Dijk at the back, so let's just fucking defend the 1-0. No, they don't, and they've got Robertson in there as well, so at least we can use that example. You know, you continue to pummel the, the opposition. Why sit back for 80 minutes? We don't have the fucking defence capable of that. I mean, it's not like Russia or Prime Brazil up front, but every time the ball got whipped in, that Shuba guy was able to head it down like someone we had up front fucking couldn't do because he's pish. You know, 20 million? Yeah. Twenty yeah, million? I think he got it wrong. I mean, he's a plastic. I mean, this ain't a plastic uh, pitch in fucking um, East Ayrshire, like you know what I mean? I mean, I've got I've got no problem with the the goalkeeper pick. Marshall was great. Defenders. I mean, I wouldn't have picked Mulgrew, but I probably thought defensively he was our best player tonight. So yeah, I mean, questionable I for really, the second, you know, but the whole back line was questionable for the second. So I, I can't mean, I can't really. Slabber about Mulgrew, I thought he was defensively was the best player. Um, Fraser and Forrest, no, you know what I mean? Totally agree with him going in. I think he made a mistake not starting Ryan Christie. I mean, the guy's been, you know I mean, the guy's on form, he's been banging in goals for Celtic every week. I and to me, he should have started. Shit. And then up front, I mean, McBurney would have been, out of the three people he picked for the squad, McBurney would have been my last choice. I'd have started with Naismith. If not Naismith Russell, but I mean uh, I don't know I why Griffiths was there. I mean, I mean, I, I, is it is it cause? Well, I suppose I Christy would no, have done, I'm, like... I'm not. I'm not taking the piss. I don't see how any like any attacking midfielder would have done a worse job than him. 
Yeah. Up front. Well, I mean, I, I don't. I, I do know. not see it. Like, I mean, Armstrong could he not have fucking went up front? At anyone like? I don't know. At any? I mean, I didn't get Callum subbed Parsons. off. It's the Callum Parsons. <laughs> fucking hell, Brophy. I don't know. Fucking. I mean, no, the fact he see, didn't yeah, pick yeah. Griffiths. Like, uh, I mean, we see the free kicks we had in the second half. The the McGrew one it was about twenty yards out. Griffiths was stuck at top bins. We all know it. Yep. Well, um, I mean, that's pretty much it, Steve. Uh, we can't qualify now. People, are, I mean, Clark said, "We now he said we need a result on Monday." He said so, but he said a win would give us like a a fifty-fifty chance or some shit like that of qualifying. No, <laughs> so basically what he's saying to me is a draw keeps us in it. But a win really gives us a chance. I don't see where he's coming from. We're, we're six points behind Russia. We would need to beat Belgium. And then we would need to beat Russia and Russia to narrow the gap. Which ain't happening. Mean, yeah, it's, you know... So, so hold on. I, I have one problem. So, so why is he coming out after the game? Like, oh, fighting. Oh, we'll, we'll just go and beat Belgium, right? Well, what did he say to them at half time? Like, oh, it doesn't matter if you lose here because we'll just go and beat Belgium. Is it, Was that the fucking well, mentality? I mean, like... It, at half time, from seriously. Seen, from what we've seen against Belgium last time, and from what we've seen tonight, I mean, I don't really see I it. But then I think it got Belgium worse as time as I think the yeah. game got. I think we got worse as the game went on. And like towards the end, there was a bit more urgency because I mean, if there wasn't, then there would have been a, like uh, this would have been a worse run. You know what I mean? But what like see after half time, Russia had their best spell when that should have been us. I expect I mean, us to come out at half time and play the way we did in the first ten minutes, but we didn't. I mean, it's, it's not even a, it's not even a case of Belgium of the group sealed. Do you know what I mean? There's only three. There's only three points in front of Russia, like so. I mean, I mean, San Marino kept Belgium for scoring the day for like forty minutes. How long we? Why can't we? That? I mean, probably not as long. Half that. But uh, aye, man, that's it. So, uh, end of the final thing. Fucking Steve Clark, in or out? In, but. He needs to learn that this ain't Kilmarnock and you do not need to put 11 behind the ball. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a bit devastated. I've lost a lot of faith in the guy, but I'm, I've got, I mean, the guy came in, saved Kilmarnock for relegation. There was no doubt they were going down. And in that relegation, that season, his first season in charge, over the space of 365 days, he scored more points than Celtic with a Kilmarnock team. So obviously... He's not oh. pish, you know, you know what I mean? And then he finished third. Something that, you know, <laughs> t- took Rangers fucking what? But see, get, see what he's done. Took Rangers here. three years back in the top flight to beat Aberdeen, and in his first full season as Kamarnik manager, he beat Aberdeen. So, I mean, <laughs> the guy's obviously not pish, but. He's I know, but, a good start but see, see, see what he's did here. Career. See when we went 1 0 up, and then we went 11 behind. The- that is what I'd expect on Monday if we went one 0 up against Belgium, not Russia. We had we had Russia. You you can't go toe to toe with Belgium for ninety minutes. It's a seven game plan. Do you think you'd have went defensive? Even though it was McLeish like, but still. I mean, it was away from home. Uh, probably like maybe. <laughs> but in the, I don't know, I don't know what tactics McLeish was choosing. But anyway, guys, on that's it, man. No happy. Uh, I, I don't. Even if we beat Bel, I know this is sounds stupid, but even if we beat Belgium, it doesn't really matter anymore. Do you know what I mean? No. It'll be, it'll be nice, like to it'll win. Feel but... good. It'll be a feel good moment, like. But apart from that, I mean, I mean, <laughs> are we beating Belgium? Oh, ah, yeah. Because you know, Eden Hazard ain't gonna fucking destroy O'Donnell down the right. Good the night. Thing clean is, up, clean I mean, up look on at our six goal early. difference. Look at our goal difference, right? Even if we beat Belgium and then beat Russia, we would need Ru- We'd probably need Russia. Well, not to say probably, we would we'd need Russia to slip up against, uh, you know, one of the smaller teams because I think, what's our goal difference going in? I think we're like Shocking. minus, we, are we minus four? Beating San Marino 2-0? 2-0? Like Russia minus, beat them nine? We're, we're minus, I think we're like minus four and like Russia are plus nine. So it's like 13 in a difference, you know what I mean? And we ain't going to claw that back. Like, Is so that ever going to beat against them? That gives them an extra point. Exactly help. And I'm pretty sure... It doesn't go in head to head. It goes in goal difference, doesn't it? Yeah, we're we're out. 
When it's all in the UEFA. Yeah, we're, we're not, we're not beating it. Belgium. You, fucking you, McBurney you against Alderweireld and Furtongen. Who the fuck heck is that's going to work? Well, I, mean, I, I don't think McBurney will be starting. I'll be well. I mean, well, Naismith's injured. He's got a lot he, he picked. He picked an in, He picked an unfit, injured Naismith over gambling addict Griffiths. Well, it's not really, it can't be this my massive Celtic fan everyone says he is. But I, I would start Russell up front, Russell's got a bit of pace. If not Russell, play like Ryan Christie or... I don't know, even Forrest? Some cunt that can score goals, someone that knows where the back of the net is, right? Fucking McBurnley doesn't belong in a football. Why, 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 why can't he play Why can't he play like a 4-4-2 narrow? With, with Forrest and Fraser up front and behind? Hey fucking... guys, let it, uh, fuck it. Mm-hmm. We can talk about it all we want, but we won't know until Monday. Uh, let us know down below what did you think of the performance and what would you do on Monday? Would you keep this team, change this team, play middle striker, this play defensively? Okay. Can someone phone up the uh, the mental folks home and see if we can get McLeish on speed dial, get him back? Fucking desperate here. But anyway, till next time. Peace, man.